Hey guys, super quick, make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our new videos. Everybody. Welcome back to the St. Louis Car Museum. I'm Ian and today we're featuring this 1970 Pontiac Grand Prix SJ hardtop. Now this Grand Prix is finished in starlight black over black interior. It has 45,000 miles on the odometer, an automatic transmission, and it's powered by a 455 cubic inch V8 engine. This Pontiac is a beautifully preserved, one-owner example, finished in desired triple black color combination, appointed with the top-of-the-line SJ option package. Under the direction of John DeLorean, the Pontiac Grand Prix found a dramatic redesign to renew the midsize luxury car. Already competing against the GM-produced Cutlass and Riviera for sales, it also found solid ground challenging the Ford Thunderbird and Dodge Challenger in the same intermediate size class. To save in production costs, Pontiac shared the A-body 118-inch wheelbase chassis with the Le Mans GTO, although distinctly different in their body shells. 
The revised Grand Prix would have a very pronounced front grille and the largest hood in Pontiac history. I know because I tried to lift it up and it's really heavy. It was originally offered with the choice of two 400 cubic inch and 428 cubic inch V8 variants with both an S or an SJ trim level. In 1970, the selection would still include a 400 cubic inch option, but find the 428 cubic inch re option replaced by the 455 cubic inch, producing 370 horsepower and a whopping 500 pound foot of torque. Today, finding a highly optioned and well-maintained Grand Prix can be quite challenging, and surprisingly, priced well below their GTO brethren fitted with similar options. We would recommend a smart investor to pay close attention to this marketplace. While the Trans Ams and GTOs continue to grow in investment value, one should not lose sight in Pontiac's finer luxury offerings. Hey guys, super quick. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you like rare cars, you're going to love the rest of our social medias too. So give those a follow and uh, I'll see you next time.